Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another NBA Supercard video on the channel and today we are going to be going ahead and we're going to be starting off our first team battleground and we're also going to be going over the brand new Superstore and we're going to be going over the Court Domination Preview all in today's video but before we get into the video guys make sure you guys drop a like down below and subscribe but with no on if you guys have been enjoying the vids and you do not want to miss any coming out in the future but without further ado let's go ahead and get right into it in yesterday's video obviously i talked a little bit about the dirk nowitzki uh event card i talked a little bit about the reveal of all the superstore stuff and i talked a little bit about the update that was going to be coming today and um yesterday the draft board was supposed to be in the game but it is officially in the game now so that's really really nice and um we're gonna be going over all that kind of stuff in today's video we got the court domination preview here as you guys can see the ruby is a female and the amethyst is a male and the um event card is dirt Nowitzki, obviously but this is a female you can just tell right there based off of the shoulders and the hair it's a female so that's kind of crazy but what's weird is my my court nomination deck is an amethyst plus plus but my my normal top eight is only Amethyst Plus just because of the fact that I have so many more event cards and special cards. While my quick game deck, I still got, uh, not my quick game, I mean my top eight. I still got this female Stephanie Dolson in there, which kind of sucks. Hopefully, I can get her out of there soon with a Amethyst Pro so we can get into Amethyst Plus Plus. But for now, I'm doing fine. Definitely going to unlock this for you guys. Get that Dirk Nowitzki event card. Like I said, we'll see how he compares to the Ruby Pros currently in the game and see if he might be better. We'll have to see. I'm not exactly sure. But for now super duper excited about all of this kind of stuff um right now i do have a sapphire fusion going on this is my second one i do have a shack already which is cool but that is really it and uh in these super store guys we're going to be going over this this is not my first reaction i've already seen it but we got platinum packs which guarantees you two emerald to amethyst players they have not revealed the odds on this yet so we don't know the gold one is gold to um amethyst two cards and then it's the exact same for silver but i'd assume the odds are just a little bit lower so we'll have to see there but I probably would open platinum packs right now, but like, I don't know if, I mean, I don't, I don't exactly know. I'd ha I'll have to see because these platinum packs are pretty much just the, of the quest packs, but a little bit worse. That is what they are. And now and normally out of the quest, three out of four of the quests, I've pulled at least one top tier card. And the second card I pulled was the mid tier. So quest packs have been good for me. And um, honestly, these platinum packs could be good. We'd have to see how I'll, I'll probably open one uh, for my first time. Uh, but then we got the gym bag, which is just a worst silver pack. You only get one card, and it's gold at two amethyst. We got the um, ruby specific, which it is a Pau Gasol, so it's going to cost you 15,000 super coins for a pro Pau Gasol. We got the ruby single, which is 6,000. We got the uh, sapphire single, which is a um, 5,500. We have the, wait, that does not right. I think this means set yeah this means sapphire pro it says single but i'm supposed to say sapphire pro because if it was single and this one's single then there's no point so yeah this is a sapphire pro contains copies of one of the following so yeah you get a sapphire pro for 5500 you get this one which i'm super interested in this is probably what i'm gonna be opening this platinum packs and one more pack or what i'm gonna be focusing on but this one you're gonna get yourself one of these um valentine's cards yeah i already have a pro and yeka ogimike but i'm hoping i can get the Kawhi image and the siakam and the lowry just so i can have those in the catalog and have their images because that's super sick we got the sapphire specific which is a can Candice Parker, which is cool. 3,000 super coins there. And then we got the Sapphire single for 2,500. And then we got the Emerald Pro, which is 1,800 super coins. Not too bad. We got this one, the Christmas cards, which is 1,200. I'm probably also going to be doing this. I already have a single Brianna Stewart and a single DeMar DeRozan, but I'm probably going to look to pro those and get Zach Levine and Tatum pro so I can get those images. Then we got the Emerald specific Zion Williamson, which you could pro um, for 2,000. And then we got the Emerald single for 750. We also got some more stuff. We got two new um, card backs. We got the Kings, which is really, really nice. And then we also got the Raptors, which is pretty sick as well. Definitely going to want to get both those card backs. Then we got this 76ers one from the Quest. If you guys did miss it, you can go ahead and get that. And then we got the Lunar New Year's card, um, card back, which you can go ahead and get as well. I'll probably try and get all three of these just so I can have like the collection of card backs. I think that'd be sick. And then you can go ahead and buy draft picks right 
right here but obviously no one has super coins right now so no one's gonna be able to buy draft picks for this upcoming team battleground but that is the superstar no guaranteed amethyst yet and no amethyst like special players but i would expect we get those within the next coming weeks um or we might not get amethyst special players for probably about a month it, it depends it will probably get special amethyst players and amethyst players with a pvp coming out or like a king of the quarter reigning threes something that something like that is probably when we'll get special cards uh but yeah guys so let's go ahead and get into it if you guys do not know what team battleground is i did explain it in yesterday's video so check that out but my top team is already in a um version and that is already in a battle i should say and that is the team i'm in and as you guys can see this one they're just waiting for the final guy and they're gonna go ahead and start it up but we're gonna go ahead and get started we'll see what kind of deck we can get for our first ever team battleground and i'll show you guys how to get charges easily we get a gary harris chris Stapps, paul george jj reddick Alyssa thomas and the odyssey sims we got two rubies which i guess isn't bad but it's not particularly great uh i've heard some people get say they got three rubies and all um but here you guys go this is my team right now as you guys can see i guess sire yeah he got three rubies so he's doing really really well hoops he ended up getting three rubies asus got two rubies nf for life got two rubies aj got three rubies so yeah a lot of guys got three it's usually it looks like it's one to three rubies that you're gonna get and if you only get one you look to get a ton of sapphires mine's not too bad and uh, you can obviously buy charge modifiers which you can get your team charge boost for 60 minutes you can get the charge multiplier for 30 minutes meaning you get times two times three times four times five you can buy all those but i wouldn't recommend it because there's a super easy way to get guaranteed charges and the way that's going to be done with the draft board coming in the game it's super nice because the draft board makes it so easy to go ahead and do this what you're going to want to do is every time you load up the draft board the first card you get is a guaranteed charge so as you guys can see there i pull the charge then what you do is you back out and then you go ahead and go apply it in your thing real quick and you're good and then you can go ahead and do the second one as i get a notification of a wwe super card you can go and go back to the draft board and you get your second one and it's a guaranteed charge so it's an easy way because normally it is 25 percent chance to go ahead and get it on any single card one thing i want to check is i don't know if it gives you it here if you reopen it no it doesn't all right so you have to actually apply the charge and then it'll give you it so that's a little tip for you guys just go ahead and so you can apply the charge and then you're gonna get a guaranteed charge on the first card you get and like i said normally it is a 25 percent chance so this just makes it easier less of a grind to go ahead and get it i'm already gonna have 50 by the time i'm throwing these picks these were just some picks i had saved up from champions and all that kind of stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and do this play some quick games get these charged and it'll be really easy to go ahead and charge up for this it's gonna be really really nice really solid glitch right here just to make it a lot easier not as big a grind because obviously it's not like game breaking you still have to play some quick game to acquire some picks but every seven every quick game you're going to be getting seven charges which is really really nice so there you guys go an easy way to go ahead and get fully charged up i believe probably with playing some quick games it'll probably take you 20 minutes up if i had to guess but like I'd say I didn't really know about this glitch a couple months ago in WWE Supercard when I was playing it. So I would be charging on there and it'd take me a couple hours, man. It would take a long time. So I would just highly recommend doing this. It's a really easy way to get charges. And also, you're going to be getting cards along the way. So you might as well just go ahead and do it. You're going to be playing games, going to be getting cards along the way. So I would highly recommend getting it done. It's going to be worth it. And you're going to get some really, really solid rewards out of this Team Battleground. That's one thing I did not go over. We got to go over the Team Battleground rewards. So we'll do that real quick after we put that on. But as you guys can see we got the rewards right here for the for actually winning team battleground it does not matter how many points you get but if you win the team battleground you're gonna get yourself a ruby to amethyst and two sapphire to amethyst along with 700 super coins so not too bad at all right there and uh i don't know i thought this was a guaranteed amethyst at first i pretty sure it was maybe something i messed up but um that's interesting at least you're getting uh um, you're getting probably like a 30 70 odds with this which isn't too bad and you're gonna be getting 700 super coins which is nice and then if you lose but you get 10,000 plus points you're gonna go ahead and get yourself a gold pack which is a guaranteed ruby and two emerald to sapphires plus 550 gold coins or super coins i should say and then for silver you're gonna get one sapphire to ruby two or one gold to emerald and 400 super coins and then for the final one 4,000 to 7,999 you're gonna get one sapphire and 275 
super coins and then if you just straight didn't really play you're gonna get 150 super coins so that's the rewards and you're gonna go ahead and spend those like i said i'm probably gonna do these first these limited pool of cards ones just so i can get some sick images like i really want that jason tatum zach levine and i really want this Kawhi leonard image i'll probably try and get a couple of those before i really do much else i could open up a couple platinum packs on video if you guys want to see that or i might just honestly save my super coins i'm not exactly sure what i want to do i want to also get these card backs so there's a ton of stuff i want here we'll see how it's gonna go i might save my super coins wait till the special cards come out grab some of those and uh pro those and get all those and whatever i have left i can spend on the card backs and all that kind of stuff so i think that might be what i do but we will have to see uh but yeah guys that is the brand new team battleground feature in the game that is the new superstore and how to go ahead and charge your cards in team battleground really easily for very very little amount of time but yeah guys that is going to be the video i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe with noties on but yeah i'll see you boys in the next one peace out